So we have now installed here the 16S battery in the top shelf of our battery storage shelf. And as you know, I have capacity tested two of these cells just random. So they have been fully charged and fully discharged, but I have not recharged these two cells to the level of all the other ones. And we know from this test, all the battery cells have been delivered with around 30% state of charge. And the two I have capacity tested are now at around 10% state of charge only. I was actually just going to recharge these two low voltage battery cells of our pack manually with a power supply. But then I thought, well, this would actually be a perfect task for an active balancer, right? And because Heltec has sent me these 12 to 16 as capacitive A active balancer, wait, why not try them out? Ah, let's see if we can fit these ones into our terminals. But first of all, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in sunny hot Australia. Today with a little product test review experience sharing about the Heltec Active Balancer 16S. There we go, that's how it looks like. We've got two connectors, one here at the bottom, one at the top. And we can see the B minus here for our battery negative. Yeah, we can see battery number 16 is here at the top. Okay, so we start with the black one is our B minus. The blue one is our B1 positive, B2 positive, B3 positive, and so on. And this is now exactly how I have designed here this terminal block to actually have the BMS completely connected to the battery and then we can add an active balancer for testing purposes. And this is exactly what we are going to do. In the second row of the terminal, push this in, done. Okay, blue one is our battery number one, positive. Green one, battery number two positive. Yellow. Okay, so before we connect our balancer, we wanna check the voltages on these connectors again. And all these connectors have a little opening here where you can actually access the contacts. And we start with our negative probe on the black cable, which is our negative. So negative probe over here and then the first positive over there. And this should measure us the first battery voltage, 3.28 volt. And if I move the if I move the positive one contact further, we measure, measure two batteries. So we should be at around six, 6.5 volts. We go to number three, we should be at nine point something, 9.8 and one further, 13.4, 16, 19, 23, now 26.5 or something, yeah, 26.2. So they are all perfectly good connected. And we do the same with a second. Here, yeah, come on, you little piece of with my negative probe, I stay on the negative contact of our first connector and then, and then, and then I go through all the contacts of the second connector as well. So starting with the first one there, 29.5, it's a bit hard to do here. And now it's reflecting, amazing. 32.8, 36, but the white one here, come on, 36, ah, see the white one, no contact, ah, yeah, 42, 45, 48, 52, okay, just the white one has no contact, the white one, which is our cell number 10, they could have stripped this a little bit further here to give us a little bit more cable to connect to. Okay, I'm just reseeding it now in the terminal. 
and hope we get a good contact this time. This is a total f nightmare. Oh. Okay, let's try the white one. Yeah, 39. Okay, we've got contact now. Yeah, that is all good. I always connect the one first where the actual battery negative is, here the black wire. And I just check this again. Okay, they are connected. And the top one goes in here. Yep, connected. So the light has turned on of the balancer and it does its job now. And we probably can see this already here that the voltage of number 14 is rising. Let's see. There we go. So the balancer is now discharging the cells with a higher voltage and transfers the energy over to the cells with a lower voltage. 61, see it's rising. Not sure if the other one is rising too, but I think it fills this one up first because this is the lowest. And then it will continue with number 12 here as well. Yeah, 62, see it's rising. Let's measure the balance lead of number 14 and see if we can measure any current. That's the green one here. This is now our cell number 14. Let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, we are balancing with um, almost 1 amp. 0 0.9 amps going into cell number 14 at the moment, which is our lowest voltage cell. And this energy comes from the other cells now. And tomorrow morning, they will be all perfectly balanced. So we just leave the Heltec balancer connected to our battery pack until tomorrow morning. And then we check again how the actual voltage situation looks like with our battery here. Okay, then we can see it's already at 66 now. Voltage is definitely rising. The next day. A wonderful good morning guys welcome back to the show yeah the balancer is still working it worked all night long and i just opened the xiaoxiang app here to have a look and we've got now 15 millivolt deviation only so the balancer has perfectly balanced all our cells just overnight uh, we can see cell number 14 is still a tiny bit low and don't get fooled by voltages with lithium iron phosphate batteries. 3.3 volts is exactly in the absolute flat area of the curve and it cannot be used to determine state of charge. So even number 12 and 14 have caught up with the voltage. It doesn't mean the state of charge has caught up as well. We know all the battery cells of this delivery have been delivered with around 30% with around state of charge. And with the capacity tests I did with these two cells, 12 and 14, I only charged them up to maybe 10% or so. So we're still 20% missing. And this and 20% could be easily around 60 ampere hours between cell number 12 and cell number 10, for example. Even they have almost the same voltage. And only at the very top of our charge curve, when voltage is rising quickly, we can actually then see if 12 and 14 are rising in the same manner or if they're still lagging behind, which I would expect actually. Because even the Heltec active balancer here with 5.5 amps, it says it here in brackets, max. Yeah, this is the maximum current this balancer can transfer. But only if the voltage difference between different cells is fairly high. The higher the voltage difference between your cells, the more current the balancer push through the system. At this stage now, we have only like 5, 6 millivolt. I mean, we've got 13 millivolt deviation across 16 cells. Now, this is pretty good. And the balancer will probably transfer only 100, 150, 200 milliamps or something at the moment between individual cells now to 
get them down to one see it, it decreases actually it's still balancing to decrease to one millivolt so i just got the second one i have of these ones here so these active balancers they work really really well they balance your whole battery pack down to one millivolt no problem if you use these balancers correctly and that means you should not, under no circumstances, leave these balancers connected all the time with lithium iron phosphate batteries. As I have shown in the recent videos, because of the very, very flat charge curve of these lithium iron phosphate batteries, the balancer basically looks only after voltages. And because even in the flat area of the curve, you will have a certain difference between your voltages across your battery bank across all these cells and the balancer will always try to balance your battery pack then even it was perfectly top balanced at the beginning but this balancing now in the flat area of the curve destroys your top balancing and i want to show you this in a quick experiment here as you may have seen i have actually turned off the charging of our battery so zero amps everything at the moment goes into our second battery bank here when I turn on charging again, you will see the current shoots up like 40, 50 amps maybe. It will get some energy from the other battery bank. And you can also see the voltage difference will go up as well. And this is exactly the problem with these active balancers if they are connected all the time. Because then they will start transferring energy from one cell into another, which is not necessary at all. Only, only at the very far top, above 3.45 volts, when the curve starts going steep, then you should turn on these balancers and then they work 100% perfectly fine, correctly. Okay, let's turn this on and see what happens. Uh, 17 amps only. 16. It doesn't go up too much. I was expecting a little bit more. But usually if you have a high load, oh, hang on. So on the second battery bank, let me turn off charging here. So all the current actually goes into this battery. And you can see here the deviation is shooting up now from 13 to 20, 21. And the higher your load or the higher the charge current goes, the more deviation you will see and the more the balancer will kick in and transfers energy from one cell See, in this, this case, from number 3 into number 14. So if you charge your battery during the day from solar, the balancer will always balance and takes energy from the high voltage cells into the low voltage cells, which is totally its job. But then once you fully charge your battery again to 3.45 volts or something, you will see a huge difference in capacity, in state of charge, of your battery cells because before the balancer has transferred all the energy across your pack mixed it all up depending on the voltages and then at the very top you have the big mess i have made a couple of videos a whole series about these active balancers actually and found out that they only work above 3.45 volts not below not below big problems if you balance your battery all the time it is different with lithium ion batteries 18650s because here the voltage is fairly linear to the state of charge but lithium iron phosphate big no no so what you can do is see this little run soldering here you can remove this and expose the two solder pads underneath and you can just connect two wires and a switch and then with this switch you can easily turn on and turn off the balancer even it stays connected all the time to your cables so you can keep all the balance cables here connected to your battery and just activate and deactivate the balancer with this switch here you could also find a small electronic on aliexpress uh, like a voltage trigger with a relay and then at a certain voltage of one of your battery cells the balancer turns on and starts the balancing process and again this should only be 3.45 volts or above so I'm sure if you have one of these batteries, you monitor the state of charge of single cells anyway. You have a look at your BMS from time to time. And if you see there is a certain imbalance when you fully charge the battery, just flick the switch, turn on the balancer overnight, and in the morning turn it back off again when the sun comes out and everything will be fine. And you probably have to do this maybe like two or three times a year 
and that's basically it. And this will maintain the balance of all your battery cells. And because Heltec BMS was so very kind to send me two of these active balancers for a 12 to 16S battery, I would like to pass them on to the community and give them away for free. So if you want one of these um, 12 to 16S capacity active balancers, here are all the details again. So to participate, we make this a little bit of fun this time. I just don't want to, I'll, I'll show you a picture here on the screen and you can press pause to actually study it or download it even or make a screenshot or whatever. You can see a certain installation in this picture here. To qualify for the giveaway of these active balancers from Heltec BMS, send me an email to this address here and explain what I have done here in this picture. What have I installed here and for what purpose? Yeah, and I will send one of the Heltec BMS active balancers to you, just for free. I got them for free, I'll give them away for free. So to enter the draw for one of these active balancers, please follow the instructions down in the video description. And thank you again Heltec BMS for sending over these amazing products here. They are working really, really well. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great support here on the channel. I really appreciate everything you are doing. Until the next video here from the channel in sunny hot Australia, you stay charged and of course stay safe. And thank you again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. Okay, I will probably disconnect my balancer now because I don't want to have it balanced right now. We probably reconnect it again once the battery is fully charged to do the final balance across all cells.